Good day, Professor Joseph Drew. Happy Inflation Day. CPI figures for the last quarter have just come out. In this video, I'll tell you really, really important things about what those numbers mean to local government. And the answer is not much. So this is the result. For the quarter, prices went up. CPI prices, Consumer Price Index. It measures the increases in the price of a basket of households, goods and services, went up by 1% for the quarter. It's not a good result at all. You'd never guess that looking at our currency, looking at our share market, but it is not a good result. And there's a lot below the surface that you'll see in the next slide, which even cast doubt on that. So in an annualized and adjusted terms, that's 3.6%. But if you're like me, you're going to the supermarket, you're paying rent, you're paying mortgage, you know these results are not reflective of a lot of people's actual experiences. Next slide, I'll show you why. What's been happening is that the ABS behind the scenes have been adjusting the weightings. So you can see that housing back pre-COVID was 22.93% of the CPI weighting. It's now 21.74%. Now that's really important because rents have gone through the roof, house prices have gone through the roof, mortgages have gone through the roof. Uh, another example is insurance. It used to be 5.59% of the weighting. It's now 5.43% of the weighting. Now if your insurance bill is anything like mine, mine went up 50% last time. Um, that'll emphasize to you how important even a small change in the weighting is to that overall CPI figure. But have a very good look at this table and you'll understand what I keep saying, which is that CPI is mostly irrelevant to local government. I know our regulators are using it to set rate caps. I know a lot of you are using it to use to set your long-term financial plan uh, parameters, but look at the things it includes. Food and non-alcoholic beverages, 17.15%. How much of you of that are you buying in your council? Alcohol and tobacco, almost 7%. How much alcohol and tobacco does your council buy? Housing, 21.74%. Um, education, 4.34%. These aren't things that local governments buy. And this unfortunately gets imputed into long-term financial plans. It's the wrong figure to be using, guys. It's the wrong figure to be using for rate caps. And it's really, really wrong if you're one of these rate cap setting bodies which are using CPI forecasts, because you can see from that graph down the bottom of this slide that the RBA has been nowhere near hitting with their forecast, not even within two of their forecast. So if you're going to use forecast, you're going to be wrong with your rate cap before you even start. Now, this inflation jargon hasn't been slowed. I've said that before on slides. I'll say it again. Look at the changes in the oil price from last quarter to this quarter that's been measured in CPI. At the commencement of this quarter, oil was $73.89. Today, according to Bloomberg, it's $83.28. We've got even more geopolitical tensions towards the end of this quarter than what we had at the beginning. We've got more friendshoring. China and America are basically in a trade war. Now, the reason why we sent all the production to China was because it was cheaper. Well, if it's going to move back home and move to other countries, things are going to be dearer. There's more electricity greening. If you want greener energy, it's going to cost you considerably more. I just got my electricity bill yesterday. I know exactly what it means. And so do you too. And these are all things that are going to affect local government. So, look, CPI is the wrong figure. CPI isn't going to decrease dramatically. And a lot of the changes that we've had in the CPI are explained by changing to the changes to the weighting. That's why videos like this are so important for councillors, for mayors, for GMs, for CFOs. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Help me out. Remember target 500. If you've got a mate that you know isn't subscribing that needs this information because they're doing their budgets and their long-term financial plans right now, flick the video onto them. All I want to do is help you guys, if you want me to help you, you need to give me a hand too by disseminating this work. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.